टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सिमेट्री एंड ग्रुप थियरी इन केमिस्ट्री इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एम एस सी स्टूडेंट्स सिंस इट इज इन देयर सिलेबस नाउ लेट एस कम टू द टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो वट इज अमेट्री सिमेट्री इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम अ ग्रीक वर्ड विच मीन्स मेजर टूगेदर एंड वी कॉल एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू बी सिमेट्रिक इफ वन हाफ ऑफ इट इज एग्जैक्टली सिमिलर एज द अदर हाफ so in nature there are many objects which are symmetrical and many objects are there which are asymmetrical let us take a simple example of alphabets for example uh, alphabet a o uh, if you bisect it uh, through axis you will see that one half is exactly the similar as the other half now to study the symmetry elements in chemistry we are having uh, what is known as group theory it is a mathematical tool which is used for describing all the symmetry aspects of a molecule so if you want to study symmetry you have to study what is known as group theory now when we talk about group theory we should know what is a group it is a set of symmetry elements and its related symmetry operations Uh, which will describe the symmetry of an object so group they are very important as they measure the symmetry now let us come out about few terms like uh, symmetry operations and elements symmetry operations as you see is the movement of molecule relative to symmetry element which generate an orientation of the molecule which is indistinguishable from the original now let us consider this molecule in this molecule i am giving 120 degree rotation so after giving 120 degree rotation you will get the same molecule now if i number this molecule as 1 2 3 then you can see that it is not exactly the same as that of this so 120 degree rotation this one will come here two will go there and three will be there again 120 degree rotation two will go here three will come here and one will come here so now you are having three figures 1 2 and 3 in which uh, figure 1 and 2 you will say they are equivalent similarly 2 and 3 again they are equivalent they are not identical now to this molecule if further you give 120 degree rotation you will see one will come here two will come here and three will come here and you will get the same molecule back so this is what is known as the symmetry operation uh now when you are applying symmetry operation you will be applying some element which can be a line point or plane with respect to one or more symmetry operations now let us study in detail Uh, what are the various types of symmetry operations or elements uh, in this you have to study uh, mainly five type of symmetry operations first one being the identity second is the n fold rotation axis axis which is also known as the axis of symmetry in terms of elements then is the reflection which is known as the plane of symmetry fourth one is inversion that is known as the center of symmetry and fifth one is improper n fold rotation which is also known as the rotation reflection axis uh, i will be discussing each of them one by one first let us take the identity it is denoted by e it is the lowest order of symmetry and almost all the molecule they possess symmetry element e e if you see it is having the same importance as uh, in mathematics number 1 does in multiplication you multiply by number 1 you will get the same molecule you will get the same uh, term let us consider this molecule in which all the substituents they are different it will be having no other symmetry uh, it will be having only the identity second one is the n fold rotation in terms of element it is known as the axis of symmetry in this you will be applying axis and then you will be giving rotation uh, n here denotes the number of rotations uh, you will be applying so that we get equivalent or identical 
configuration it is also known as the order of rotation it is given by 360 by theta degree uh, where theta is the uh, angle of rotation which you are applying so if you are applying uh, 180 degree rotation you will get c2 axis 120 c3 uh, 90 degree c4 72 c5 and 60 c6 and so on so let us uh, explain this with example i am taking an example of water molecule h2o uh, this is the axis of symmetry i am giving 180 degree rotation now when i rotate it by 180 degree this will come here this will go here so h a will be now this side h b will be that side this is what i am getting again i am giving it 180 degree rotation same phenomena h b will come back h a will come back here so you will get h a o h a which is identical to this now this and this molecule if you say they are uh, similar which is known as equivalent but if you are uh, numbering it or you if you are specifying it then uh, you can find out what is the difference now in this if you want to find out what is the axis of symmetry cn will be given by 360 by theta which is the angle of rotation 180 degree so c2 it is having c2 axis of symmetry now another example i will be taking is of bf3 it's a very common example in bf3 there are two axes of rotation one is along this uh, bf 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 there are three uh, c2 axes of rotation where you will be giving 180 degree rotation so if you are giving 180 degree rotation along this axis this fa will come here this will go here similarly if you are giving rotation along this axis this two will interchange if you are giving through this this two will interchange so you will be getting three molecules which are equivalent so it is having three c2 axis now second way what we will be doing we will be keeping b constant and we will be giving 120 degree rotation so this will change so it is having two axes of symmetry one is 3 c2 axis and then c3 axis now in this priority we will be giving to one which is having Um, higher n value so n value is higher in this case so c3 will be the main axis as compared to 3 c2 axis so this is what is known as the rotation now let us come to the third uh, symmetry operation that is reflection which is also known as plane of symmetry it is denoted by sigma now this plane which you are applying you can apply this plane vertical to the principal axis so you can apply it Uh, horizontal or perpendicular what is called uh, so depending on that there are different uh, plane of symmetry it is denoted by sigma now if you are applying it vertically it is known as sigma v here i am taking an example of water molecule again i am applying a plane here uh, uh, you can say you are applying a mirror so this will be reflected the here and this will be reflected here you will get this molecule again you are applying so this will go back this will again go back and you will get the identical molecule this one and two they are equivalent whereas this and this one it is identical so this is uh, having uh, sigma v plane of symmetry now let us come to bf3 so bf3 it is in one plane so one plane can be perpendicular to this plane uh, or you can say uh, sigma h that is the horizontal plane of symmetry besides this we are having a third uh, plane of symmetry that is uh, sigma d in this case we can see here uh, it's benzene benzene is having c2 axis now between if you can see between two c2 axes there is another c2 axis which is bisecting this angle two c2 axis so that will be nothing but dihedral plane of symmetry so it will be having 3 sigma v and 3 sigma d plane fourth one we will be considering is inversion or what is known as the center of symmetry uh 
in this what we, you will be doing it is a center uh, through which you will be reproducing it on either side you will meet the same molecules opposite side so i am writing i am specifying the chloride molecules a b c d now if you apply this inversion uh, or center of symmetry uh, a it will be going that this here c and b will be going to d so this two are equivalent you are applying inversion again you will get the same molecule back now center of symmetry for performing inversion operation there should be a center of symmetry same thing you can see in uh, benzene molecule or co2 they also show center of symmetry because uh, they are having uh, opposite groups they are similar here now i will come to improper rotation axis uh, it is denoted by sn in this firstly you will be rotating it followed by you will be uh, reflecting it perpendicular to that rotation now consider this example i am giving c2 rotation here uh, that is 180 degree rotation 180 degree rotation means this two it will move up and this will come down followed by a reflection perpendicular to that if you see here so now if you compare this molecule and the first molecule they are equivalent they are equivalent so this were the five symmetry operations which we generally apply in the molecule now let us come to the group what actually group is each molecule is having a finite uh, set of symmetry operations uh, that describes the molecules overall symmetry so this set of operations describes the group group can be finite or infinite set of elements uh, along with the binary operation and uh, it has to follow four fundamental properties uh, then only we can call it as a group so these four fundamental properties as you see are closure associativity identity and inverse i will be explaining them one by one first i will be explaining it in terms of mathematics and then we will uh, apply it to a molecule now in terms of mathematic i am considering a set of rational number as you see here uh, and the operation which i am applying binary operation that is uh, multiplication now if i am multiplying 2 by 4 i am getting 8 now 8 again belongs to this set so this is closure property means two different um, the numbers you have taken and you are applying operation and the result which you are getting again it should be a set it should it should belong to that set so that is nothing but the closure property this i will be explaining with the molecule also second one is the identity property that is uh, you multiply anything with identity that is one uh, you will get the same number that is four this is identity property third is associativity property that is a into bc is equal to ab into c same thing you will get that is associativity property and fourth one is inverse property that is if you take the inverse you will get the same molecule back one now this things it means that this set is a group under multiplication operation because it is uh, satisfying all the four properties of uh, four fundamental properties that is closure associativity identity and inverse now i will be applying it to a molecule so in terms of molecule it is being explained here uh, two um, members you have taken of a set that is a and b uh, multiple operation you are applying you are getting uh, result c uh, now this c should belong to that set now two operations which i am taking that is c2 and sigma v and it is giving you sigma dash v now i will be seeing how you get this uh, let us consider again water molecule 
in water molecule you are applying 180 degree rotation you are getting equivalent molecule and uh, to that you are applying a plane vertical plane again this will come here and this will go here you are getting a identical molecule to the same molecule you are applying sigma dash plane so same thing you will get again so this and this they are identical so c2 multiply by sigma v is nothing but sigma v dash so this is closure property second property which i am explaining is identity that is ae is equal to ea is equal to a or in terms of uh, operations i am applying identity c2 operation you should get c2 now let us do the example E C two C two. This is the direction of operation. I am applying H A O H B. I am applying C two first. That will rotate it. They will interchange their position. You will get H B O H A. Now this multiply by identity will give you same thing. This that is nothing but C two. So this is identity property. Third property which I discussed with you is inverse property. That is A. inverse a that is nothing but the identity so if you take c2 and inverse of that you will get same molecule back that is identity that is c2 and c2 inverse giving you identity so i am taking h a o h b i am giving c2 rotation first since this is the direction of operation you are getting h a o h b then inverse rotate it inverse you will get the same molecule back that is nothing but the identity fourth uh, properties of associativity that is a b c is equal to a b c now three uh, different uh, sets uh, three different um, elements which we, we have taken that is c2 e sigma x z c2 e sigma x z c2 now in this case if you see you are getting same molecule back that is e along as apart from that you are having one rule of computation also that is a b if you are considering which belong to a group such that a operation b is equal to b operation a in which we will say that a and b they commutates uh, so it is a abelian group nothing but abelian group so this was all about various uh, symmetry elements and symmetry operations which we are applying in the molecule thank you